Hey, shalom, shalom, family. Shalom. Yes. Welcome back to the channel. We are here. We are at a restaurant right now. Um, like I said, we are joining with us. Welcome. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, today, we got something juicy for you. As my wife said, as, as you see the juice right in front of us, right? So we got something juicy for you. She said we're going to expose some stuff. So I'm not sure what she's talking about, but she says she wants to read something to me and get my reaction. Yep. So that's what we're going to do. And stay tuned. And let's see my reaction. So, you know, I'm looking here at the Tanzanian Citizen. It is a newspaper published here in East Africa. And here is the headline. German company linked to bribing Tanzanian officials, and they've been fined $222 million dollars by the American authorities. Hold on, say that again? Yes. German company linked to bribing Tanzanian officials fined $222 million by American authorities. Fine, fine, $222 million. Ooh. USD, okay. They got some debt to pay, but that's okay? just a fine, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, they got, they're in debt. They're, they're getting dug in a hole that they dug, but we gonna read the article and see why. Go ahead. A German software company called SAP, S-A-P, has been investigated for offering bribes to government officials in several African countries, including Tanzania, and has been slapped with a $222 million fine by U.S. authorities. SAP is linked to offering bribes to top officials in Tanzania, of course, mm. authority, in 2014-2015 to win a tender, and is alleged to have colluded with TPA insiders to get preferential treatment on other multiple government deals that were meant for competitive bidding. SAP will pay $222 million to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission after its violation of the U.S. Foreign Corruption Practices Act arising out of bribery deals in Tanzania, Kenya, South Africa, Ghana, Malawi, Azerbaijan, and Indonesia. Wow. In a statement, SAP said that it separated from all responsible parties more than five years ago and has enhanced its global compliance program related to internal controls. However, a research on 23rd Century Security website shows the company still lists itself as a provider of SAP ERP and maintains a local office in Dar es Salaam. Hmm. Also, a search on the Business Registration and Licenses Authority umbrella here in Tanzania confirms TTCS as a limited company in Tanzania with a local address. According to this source, it's claimed senior officials at the Ports Authority were given $800,000 in bribes. Hold up, let's run that back. That that was 800, zero, zero, mm. zero, zero. Yeah, that's close to a million dollars. Billion in shillings yeah. in bribes to award a 6.635 million software tender to a partner firm of the German company. The tender involved the provision of software licenses. The tender was awarded to TTCS, which is registered in Zimbabwe. It's claimed that the officials received the bribes in two installments of $100,000 and $700,000 <laughs> paid in cash delivered in suitcases. Wow. This is the German <laughs> this is like mafia. like some mafia stuff, yeah. The German mafia. <laughs> ah, whew. So Tanzania had to terminate the contract in 2019 against the top officials who allegedly colluded in the deal. It's believed the foreign company charged the TPA twice the amount of annual software licenses. And it's reported then September 2019, the same foreign company from Germany for more than $400,000 reviewed the work done by Zim Zimbabwe and registered partners and rewarded another contract worth $997,000 for unspecified services. So... The control and auditor has exposed them. It is unknown whether Tanzania or any other African countries linked in the saga will get a cut of the $22 million compensation. This is what ah. happens when you scheme with German Nazi alien demons. And there's no better word to describe it because this is literally who these people are. This is who they've been. And this is why the Most High allowed them to fall in World War One and Two. if you pay attention to history and look at it why America was able to defeat them like that. He will use one wicked nation to defeat another wicked nation. Exactly. So, with all that being said, is judgment is coming. Ah, right in the open. That's crazy. That's millions of dollars they probably, they, they send in suitcases. In suitcases. <laughs> That's like a, a mafia type deal. Some type of big, 
big mafia deal. They they sitting right here at the table and they slide the suitcase That's next crazy. to each other. The ah. German mafia. We are really living in the last days. We are really seeing everything happening for a reason. So I know you guys heard my wife read all that. That's that's shocking and I'm I'm glad that it's coming out. Thank the what it's from the US, right? The US authorities is coming to Tanzania and saying, Hey, these Germans is corrupt. Because recently we, we kind of dealt with some corruption and it was a German town. So German I'm glad colonial town. That our prayers with a few is, Switzers is is, is is working because we was battling the spirit and I'm glad this is out. So yeah, but it, it gets me because it says it's a fine. Yeah. So if they can just pay that fine, will they be fine? I think they should be more afraid of the Most High's judgment because they don't believe that he even exists. Exactly. And so imagine so. how difficult it would be to be in this delusion where you get to do whatever you want, except the Most High does exist. And he can literally create an earthquake. He can literally just have you stop creating children. And before you know it, before the century's up, you don't see any more of these people on earth. Yeah. We will see. So, guys, comment below. Let us know your thoughts about the article. We will leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out. Because this is this is awesome. Yeah. Thank this the most like, high. Listen yeah. to the most high. Ah, that's great. That's beautiful. Because all this corruption now. It needs to be stopped. Yeah, because these colonials. Exactly. In the Bible, it says when the corruption stops, that's that's when the Most High will rule, or Yahushua will rule. And this corruption is starting to dwindle down. It's starting to be bottled up and 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 tossed in the sea. Yep. Why? While those nations turn against each other, Africa will rise. The Just ancient rise. peoples of the Bible will rise, and so exactly. it's inevitable. So they might as well sit back and try to repent, if at all possible. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Time's up. Time is up. Time is up. That's what we can say. Time is up. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk to you in the next video. Shalom. Shalom.